month left in the season. How do you feel like you guys are playing right now? What do you, what are kind of maybe some of the goals going into this? Um, I think we've we've been playing good basketball. Um, you know, every game is every game's important. As I mentioned before, we lose two in a row and you drop two or three spots in the standing. So I think every team that's in the playoff race right now is uh, understands how important each game is. Uh, but you know, we played a, a good game against Oklahoma City, but we lost. Uh, played well against against Phoenix. So now we got to go get some on the road. Do you uh, do you how much scoreboard watching do you do right now? I, you know what? I, I follow the scores just yeah. in November. All the time. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, you know, I, I like keeping abreast of what's going on in the league. Uh, this Clipper team, uh, obviously a team that I think a lot of people kind of left for dead twice, maybe once this season and once after they made those trades, and they've still played really good basketball. And I'm assuming that they're a team that plays hard, which is always going to give the team a good fight. You know, they, they've got a lot of good players. You know, even though they uh, made some trades, made some moves, they really have a lot of good players that, as you mentioned, they play hard, but they play well together. They're talented. Uh, they don't necessarily have star power, um, but Danilo Gallinari is playing outstanding. Lou Williams uh, continues to score a lot off the bench. Harrell's having an outstanding year, and the new players that they got, like Shamets, come in, and, and he, found, he found his place. It's, uh, and I think Doc's done a great job of integrating everybody. Coach, do you feel the physical nature of the game kind of picking up as you get closer to the playoffs? Um, I don't know. It would probably be easy to say that. I really couldn't say one way or the other. When you, like our game against Oklahoma City, you know, was, was a physical game. You'd kind of expect that with both teams kind of, that was a big swing game for both teams. Uh, so when you get in those type of games, most likely, I can't, I don't know if I want to say overall that it is, but certainly some games have that to it. And you guys certainly have guys, I mean, you have that kind of balance where if it does get, you know, the nature of a game gets physical, you have guys that can, can play that style. Well, we've, we've got a lot of guys with playoff experience, and I think you learn how to uh, play a physical style. you you got to learn how, how to play a game, win a game on that certain night. And if it's a physical game, you got to be able to match that. Uh, Damien on the precipice of moving into second, uh, an all-time franchise history in scoring. Uh, and he, he credits you a lot of times when talking about those things as someone who, who kind of gave him the opportunity to, to be in that position at this point in his career. Um, I imagine in some respects you appreciate Damien having done that for your career as well. Uh, you know, he's been outstanding from day one. And, uh, you know, he's uh, evolved as a player. He's always been able to score. But his first three years um, with LaMarcus and, and the group that we had, uh, he was more of a secondary scorer for us with LaMarcus uh, getting the ball a lot, but he's come into his own as a leader and as a scorer. Uh, but I'm probably, as well as he's scored the ball, and it's quite an accomplishment to, to move into second, but um, what he's done as a leader is probably uh, even more a testament to who he is as a player. Going back to Lou Williams, he's, he's such a scorer, but he <clears throat> pass. Well, you know, essentially he's a starter, but he's, uh, you know, he has tendencies. He's going to make tough shots. Uh, you can't lose him. Uh, every time he has the ball, he's a threat. Um, it's, it takes not only the guy guarding him, but everybody else to know where he is. And, and if it's a pick and roll, if it's an ISO, then we have to uh, stick to our schemes. Our goal is is to compete every game. You know, I, I think it's a little early to look at. You know, uh, look, we're as close to two and three as we are to eighth. So, uh, the important thing for us now is just to just keep playing good basketball, and the standings and the seedings and all that will work itself out. But it's um, you know, it'd be great to get it. But I right now it's it's just every night.